This is Wednesday morning, February 2nd, and we're at the East Kern Spaceport looking at more wind turbines being offloaded from the rail cars and stored here. It really is a big, big project. Go, Ricky! Bia Memorial Library rests here on the corner of Truxton Avenue and Q in Bakersfield. It's the library headquarters for all of Kern County and services East Kern as well as the city of Bakersfield. This is a mobile drop out in front of the Bia Library and all of the books deposited here are being collected and put on a cart that's going back to the shelves. How many books in a day end up in this deposit? Anywhere from 100 to maybe 3 a day. Every day. Every day. This is the beginning of the second half for the girls varsity basketball team. We're on defense right now. And it's runner ball. Randley, and Talia <laughs> makes the first out of two free throws. <laughs> and the game's over with 51-24, Rosamond wins. Varsity boys get warming up before the game. How do you feel that you guys played yesterday against Desert, winning by one point? Um, I think we did pretty good, even though it was just by one point, but we did a lot of effort. We did good. How has the season been going so far for you? Uh, it's been going pretty good. We've won a lot. And we work really hard, so it's pretty good. How do you feel on the win yesterday against Desert? I feel pretty good. It was a little scary in the beginning, but I made six shots, so I'm pretty sure it helped out. Um, how has the season been going so far for you? Pretty good. We only lost two games, so I'm pretty sure we're going to win the rest. So. Here we have Zayvon Perez. He's only a sophomore, and he's running the half marathon for 2011. Zayvon, what inspired you to run this? Um, I was inspired because um, I'm a, I like running. I've been in the cross country team and the track team. You know, I'm just I really love running a lot. And uh, Schrader, the coach, is doing is uh, hosting the for, the for the calculus team. He's doing the half marathon, and uh, my friend Ben told me to represent him, so I'm going to do it for him. I'm really excited for it. Explain to me this uh, project here at AMPM in Rosemont. Well, it's just a restaurant. We, uh, we're turning it into a, it's still just a plain building, but we're turning it into a uh, pizza hut. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, we got our new equipment coming in, you know, everything's brand spanking new. Uh huh. Is it going to be a name pizza like Domino's pizza or? Pizza Hut. Oh, Pizza Hut. Yeah. Oh, it really is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, when do you think they'll be starting up? Uh, we're having a couple of issues with some uh, electrical, but about two months we should be up and running. Two months yeah. up and running, uh huh. Wow, that'll yeah. be pretty good. So this February, March, so by April maybe. Yeah. It'll be up and running. It'll be up and sooner, but uh huh. Yeah, that's what we should be for. Hey. 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 Sure. 
What's your name? Ryan Weedall. And Ryan, what do you do on this project? I'm the HVAC with Air Supply. Oh yeah, and you sir? My name is Tommy Goodwin. I'm with Air Supply Air Conditioning and Heating and we're doing the air conditioning here for TLM. Oh, that's really good. And how about you sir? My name is Eugenio. Uh -huh. I'm the plumber. Uh huh. And how about you sir? Alex. Uh huh. Good. And what do you got here? You got a, a special ad. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. And how about you, sir? Salvador. Salvador. Yes, and, uh, labor. Labor. Okay. Trabajadores. Trabajador. Or trabajadores, right? My name is Armando. In the diaper. Uh huh. Okay. Good. And we got you. Yeah. Roy, the general. Contractor. Uh huh. And how about you, sir? Felipe. Carpenter. Carpenter. Ernesto. Plumber. Uh huh. Plumber. And how about you, sir? I'm one. I'm we doing the framing and drywall. Oh, marvelous. My name is Daniel. Daniel. Okay. And what are you? Carpintero. Carpintero. Okay. Gracias. It's great to be uh, to be here in Rosamond at the uh, at the Rotary Club and and the the Kern County Wounded Heroes Fund. This is an organization I serve on the board of directors. It started about three years ago. And actually, Rotary International is one of the service clubs that helped to get this group off the ground. There's a, a few of us that are on the board of directors that are Rotarians, and then we have folks that are members of other service clubs like Lions Club, uh, et cetera, that are all involved. And what, what the fund does is we assist our wounded soldiers that are coming back from the theater in Afghanistan mm -hmm. and Iraq. Uh, with any that are that have, have sustained an injury, whether it's a physical in injury or if they're suffering from post-traumatic uh, stress syndrome, we we will help them to. Uh, with, with a variety of different needs, whether it's their family needs help in, uh, in purchasing an airline ticket to, to fly back and visit them in Walter Reed or Bethesda, the, the Army, Army Naval Hospitals, mm -hmm. or if they need something for their house to retrofit it, if they have some type of a disability that they've sustained, mm -hmm. um, if they need uh, assistance in, in finding employment. So if anyone is, is interested in the Wounded Heroes Fund, whether, uh, whether they'd like to volunteer, whether they'd like to contribute, or if they have someone that they know could benefit from the services we provide our website is the wounded heroes fund.org this is what's left of the home here at Gasco and 170th that burned Sunday night as you can see pretty much total damage to the living quarters this is the start of the uh, Edison substation out here on 170th Street, about a half mile off of Roseman Boulevard. This is looking west from 170th, where the new Edison substation is going to go in. The fence has gone up, and you can see way back in the distance the tie-in to the grid. We're out here at the Roseman Water Bank, and uh, what we're looking at is the Van Dam turnout line. And I'm going to ask our host here to explain what's going on. We're connecting this line. We're connecting this line to an eight to the 18 inch line that runs up through here that feed, fed the existing turnouts. Mm -hmm. We're connecting our pipe here to it. So whenever they connect it down to the AVEC 60 inch, uh -huh. it'll feed everything together from this line. From, I see. The new line. I see you're here with this big cat that's been digging this trench for this water line. And uh, what are you doing today? Taking the machine apart to transport it out of here. Uh huh. And about how long does it take to do that? Oh, like half a day. Half a day, dismantle it, and and where are you guys going to haul it off to? I'm not sure yet. Easy <laughs> ball, right there. Put him on the board. Never mind, not that one. Oh. Oh. 